Yes, this will be edited. Oh, wait. Oh, that's 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 <laughs> wave, wave because this is live and living color. Uh -huh. Even though you're even though you're backlit and we don't really know who you are. This is Aaron, our driver. He's the very best in the whole world. But that's three rolls. Oh, three We can make strong. Flex your arms, flex your biceps. Bicep shot, JB. There you go. Wow, I'm good at myself. Hello. I'm gonna make everyone scream.
of grace your amazing grace I can find myself
that there is a great blessing on this church victory church victory church we'll see not just a thousand but thousands thousands amen from Seattle, Washington in America uh, we attend the city church we attend the city church uh, with my brothers and sisters here. Uh, our big happy family. I feel the presence of Jesus so strong. In the spirit of the name of the church, the Lord My name is Sarah. I'm just Sarah. And I had the privilege of spending some time with your children. And I just want to let you know that you have the most precious children in this church. Most assuredly, I say to you, 
unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So he's saying to this religious man, but have everlasting life. That's God's plan. You know, I have I have one son. You know one and my son, his name is Noah. Uh, and he is about six feet three. Uh, and his shoulders about this wide. <laughs> and he's a big man. <laughs> and people look at me and they say, Where'd you get this man? And I say, I got this man from my heart. Because I asked God for a big man, a big son. And I love him very much. This is how God felt about Jesus. And yet he made a decision. When he talked to the Holy Spirit and Jesus in heaven, they made a plan a very long time ago. Before they formed the earth and the stars in heaven. And they said, we will send Jesus. And Jesus says, I will go. I will come from heaven and go to earth and live as them and be with them because we love them. <laughs> Stay in fellowship with other believers and work out your destiny.
Jesus and joy are not always associated. Have you noticed this? People conclude Jesus is not about pleasure, enjoyment, fun, jokes, laughter. Life's not a joke. It's serious. We're on a mission. It's heaven and hell, people. God has a sense of humor. Jesus oh, thank you. had a sense of humor. You ever notice in his life and ministry, Jesus takes time to just enjoy food. He laughed, enjoyed good wine, was never in a hurry. Part of the reason he wasn't in a hurry is because he, he also, in the midst of the greatest mission, the greatest rescue plan of the universe, he also enjoyed himself. Joy is, um, it's not as meaningful. Let, let's use a real meaningful word like, like pleasure. Yeah, we don't really know what to do with the word pleasure. God's not about pleasure. Of course God is for pleasure. All you gotta do is look at the design of the garden, church. The original environment God intended for man to live in. Are you kidding me? We got these beautiful trees that produce organic fruit, natural sugars. Sugar, somebody! There's rivers. One of the river, the Bible says it's got gold all up in it. You got nudity. <laughs> Sex. Our youth section just said, preach! In due time, my friend. So Paul gives us such a profound verse in the Bible. He says the king's reign is all about righteousness, peace, and joy. It should be noted that two-thirds of the king's reign is an emotional state. You have the two primary emotions of his domain, which is peace and joy. Notice what the first word is that describes the king's reign. It's righteousness. Sheer gift. Righteousness cannot be earned. It can only be received. The king's reign is all about making people as righteous as the king. And we are not only forgiven of our sins, but we are viewed from heaven as perfect. These three words should define our church. Our church and every individual in it should not be defined by what he or she does or does not do or wears or what they do not wear or what they drive or where they live. Your life 
world and my life and our church should be defined by righteousness, peace, and joy.
Nothing compares to you